Another squishy, huh? You guys seem to really enjoy these squishy videos. And I don't blame you, they're a lot of fun. All right. Welcome to my channel. Sell your soul to me by hitting that subscribe button. And hit that bell icon too for notifications and updates every time I post. I post new videos every Friday. <laughs> so today we have another squishy that's just begging to be turned. All squishies have a dark side that's just begging to be unleashed. And that's where I come in. Also guys, since we're doing a squishy makeover video, definitely want to shout out Mariah Elizabeth. She does a ton of cool squishy makeover videos and a lot of other awesome art related stuff too. After you're done watching this video, definitely head over to her channel and check her stuff out. I will leave a link to one of her videos down in the description down below. Her squishies are awesome. And with all that being said, let's get started. What a cute little panda baby. Wow, I really like this squishy, guys. He is so cute. I mean, I hate it. I really don't like it. I want, I just, let's just poke his nose. Let's poke his nose. Let's smash his nose. All right, so first we're gonna sand this panda a little bit. He's so cute that it's actually making me kind of sick. So I just kind of want to get started and paint this little dude. And as promised, I took a trip to Hobby Lobby. Now I've got a bunch of pretty colors to work with. Wowzers. And that just came flying right out of there. Let's just place this little green duty over here. And we'll start slabbing some of that green right onto this panda baby. I decided to try using a paint palette knife to put the first initial coats of the green on the panda baby. It was working really well, but you'll see I kind of just dropped that habit like a bad habit in five minutes. Aw, oh, look, he still looks so cute. I hate it. He does look kind of cool already with that translucent green first layer of green over him, doesn't he? And we're still slabbing on that green. This is where I said, I, let's stop that. Let's finger paint. Even though I discarded that thing, I really did like the palette knife. It was a really great tool to paint with, and I'm definitely going to use it again next time. Now we're going to take some of this big juicy perp and we're going to squeeze that puppy and it's going to give a nice. I really like the way this slick fabric paint is looking already and it feels a lot smoother. I like it. I really like it. When I went to Hobby Lobby, I did pick up a ton of slick paint and I'm really happy that I did. For this squishy, I did use only slick paint. I didn't use any matte paint for this one. I think what I'm going to do next time is try mixing the slick and matte paints. I know Mariah Elizabeth does like to mix the paints, so I'm curious to see like what the paint does if it you get the best of both worlds, you know? I am really liking how this purple is turning out though. I really like purple. If you guys didn't know it, purple is my favorite color. Little fun fact for you. All right, now we're just finger painting, slabbing that big juicy perp onto his little butt. Okay, I, I really need to stop saying that. I'm, I'm disturbing myself. And now I'm just taking some black paint and just painting his little necklace on him. I know it looks a little rough right now, but this necklace is actually one of my favorite parts of the squishy later. I know, I know, it looks bad, okay? It looks really bad. But stick around, I promise it gets better. It gets better. Trust me, guys. I know what I'm doing. So here I'm just painting his ears. I wanted to keep his ears black. I took a lot of inspiration from the original Squishy for this one because I liked the way his ears and his arms and his little cute, adorable face were. I really did like how simple the original Squishy was, but, you know, it wasn't evil. It wasn't evil, so it's going to be evil now. Even though the original Squishy made me sick to my stomach, it did have some redeeming qualities to it. One of them was this big necklace I'm putting on him. He did have like a little tiny necklace thing, I, not really a necklace, his, his black ring around him thing. But I decided to take that and make it a little bit bigger and turn it into a necklace. 
because that's what I do. When I see panda, I see art. If you can't tell, I'm really excited about this necklace. I think it turns out pretty cool. So here we're just going to start painting on his little arms. I decided to keep them black too, like the original Squishy. And I also decided to keep his little cute feeties black as well. Here we're just going in and doing some initial touch-ups around his little arms there. One thing that I'm learning is that you have to spend a lot of time touching up these guys. The touch-ups really make the Squishy. Here I am just laying out the base coat for his eyes in some liquid white. Looking back, I probably should have been a little less lazy and outlined the eyes in pencil first, but I just kind of went for it in graveyard loon fashion, and I just started slabbing them on there, which was a mistake because now I'm going to have to redo one of the eyes. That's okay. Life is full of mistakes, and this is one of them. So here we go, let's just take some green and go over that eye, and now we have to wait for a few more layers of this green to dry, and then we can restart the eye. While that dries, let's start painting on his little button nose, and I decided to keep his little cute smile that he had in the original Squishy, and here I am just outlining his eye in some black. Now that we have the other eye all figured out, I wanted to go in and give him some crazy mad eyebrows. Here I'm also giving him some pupils now so that he looks a little bit less like a creepy bear Frankenstein version of Robin. Doing these finer details is one of my favorite parts of painting the squishies because you can really see it start to come together. I wanted to give him some little bags under his eyes to make it look like he was really tired. I just think it makes it look kind of funny. I have a little bit of a weird sense of humor. And this is one of my favorite parts of the squishy that we're doing right now. I'm just taking some puffy paint and then going around his little necklace and adding some spikes to it. This makes me really want one of these necklaces for some reason. Do you guys think I'd look good in one of these? Oh, wow. Yes. All scary thoughts aside, we're just going to go ahead and add a little red to his mouth, like a little tongue here sticking out. And here I'm just taking some more puffy paint and adding a little tag to his necklace. And I'm just adding some red to his eyes to make them pop a little bit more and match his little tongue. I feel like he doesn't really look much like a bear anymore. He kind of looks like a little green bulldog or something. It's really adorable. Here I'm just adding on a little stitch to his purple little shirt. I felt like it needed a little bit more detail there. And now we're just taking some metallic paint and just painting over his little spikes and his little dog tag thing to give it a little bit more of a silver look. And here we go, guys. Here is the finished Squishy. I'm pretty happy with how this one turned out. I think I'm definitely getting a little bit better as I practice doing this. I still have a lot of practicing to do, though. Here's a little side-by-side -side for you guys of the original Squishy and the completed evil Squishy. And, of course, no Squishy video would be complete without a nice, satisfying squish. Whoa, look how slow rising this one is. Mmm, piece de resistance. Alright, it's loony time. In my last video, I did another squishy makeover where I made a three-eyed leech monster. If you haven't seen that one already, definitely go check it out. I just wanted to show some of my favorite comments from that video. Don't be scared. Everything's fine. Just don't look behind you. <laughs> Whoa, this is getting very deep. Also, very true. If you haven't joined the dark side yet, what are you waiting for? We have squishies on the dark side. Gotcha, Cookie. A little trick for getting paint off your carpet is getting a new carpet. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. What is this? I love talking to you guys. Also, my squishies are holding me hostage in my house. You guys are the only connection I have to the outside world. All right, sunflower things. I'll let it slide this time. I really appreciate all the support you guys give to me. It means the world to me. It really does. Thank you guys so much. 
I hope you guys had just as much fun as I did today. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. It really helps the channel out. Next week, we're going to do something a little bit different. Until then, thank you guys so much again for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. We'll see you all next Friday.